If you are a blended artist then you might have come across this guy Stuzor on Instagram or on Pinterest. He is such a great artist and creates these really cool artworks and most of them have one thing in common, this cracked rocky head. So in today's video ladies and gentlemen I will show you how you can create this head using cycles and also the blender file of this project is in the description below for free so you can download it for practice. So without any further ado let's get started. So in order to make this kind of head you need to have a head. I mean a head model. So I will use this one from this website Free3D. The link to which is in the description below. So click on the download and download the object file. And then go back to blender delete the default cube and then go to file import and import as wavefront.obj then select the file and click on import then scale it down and rotate it along x axis just press r x and 90 on the keyboard then press f3 on the keyboard and search for cell fracture or go to object quick effects and select cell fracture from this menu you can mess around with the settings but I will suggest you leave them as they are and press OK and then it will take some time and it will create these nice cracks on the head and you can also hide the actual head mesh basically it has divided the head into 100 different pieces and you can also move every single piece so I will take out some of the pieces just a little from the surface and once you are done select all the pieces by holding shift and then press ctrl j or go to object and select join and it will merge all the pieces together and you can move it easily then I will press shift a and add in a plane and scale it up 10 times just press s and then 10 on the keyboard then click on this camera icon and press n to get this menu and select lock camera to view option and now you can adjust the camera position easily but you can always change it later then select the head move the slider up and choose shader editor from here click on new and as always enable the no wrangler add-on I'm not even gonna say it this time then select the principal PSDF and press ctrl shift T and select your textures I downloaded mine from textures.com and I downloaded this rough concrete texture but you can use any textures that you like so select your textures and click on principled texture setup and blender will automatically set up your textures for you then go to the material properties and scroll down until you find settings and change it to the displacement and bump and then I will decrease the displacement scale to something like 0.02 If the base color is too dark you can either disconnect the base node and then select a lighter color or you can add a RGB curve node and move this slider. Then I will select the plane and go to the edit menu by pressing tab and then right click and choose subdivide. From this drop down menu I will enter 100 cuts but you can choose any value that you like. Then go back to object mode and assign this plane a new material. Press Ctrl Shift T and then select your textures. I use this one for the floor but you can use any textures that you like as always. So select your textures, click on principal texture setup. I also decreased its displacement value to something like 0.01. You can also play around with the displacement of the head. Then press Shift A and under curves choose circle and press R X 90 on the keyboard to rotate it along X axis and then under geometry increase the bevel depth to something like 0.02 then place it above the head and also scale it up and press shift D and right click to duplicate it and scale it down and do this step one more time so now we have three circles then again press shift A and this time add a UV sphere right click and shade it smooth then scale it down and place it in the center of the circle. Then again duplicate it, scale it down and place it on the circle. And do this step one more time. Then I will select all of these circles and press Ctrl J to join them and press F3 and type convert to mesh. 
Then I will select all of these objects then press Ctrl J to join them together. And now they are a single object and you can rotate them and move them easily. Then I will add a golden material to this structure. Just like this. So the head part is done and now I will block the scene using a temple asset provided by Max A. The link to his channel is given in the description below and also these assets will not be included in the blender file of this project. You have to download it from his given link. So I will scale it up and place it behind the head model. And also I will duplicate it and place it on both sides. I will also delete this point light and add in an area light instead. Then scale it up. Place it above the scene, also pointed in the direction of the head model. And I will also increase its power to something like 8000. You can take as much time as you want and add different things to make the scene look better. Such as I will scatter grass on some of the areas of the plane. For that I will go to the weight painting mode and paint on the areas where I want the grass. After that I will change the name of the group to grass and then go back to object mode. Add a new particle system and click on here check advanced check rotation and render as object. And in instance select your grass asset. I downloaded mine from max3 if you want to get this asset you can watch this video and also the download link will be in the description. And under vertex groups in density choose your grass vertex group that you just created. And if the orientation is not right, change it to object Y or global Y. Then I will also increase the scale value to something like 0.350. At this point really experiment with all these settings and see what works best for you. Like I will also increase the render count to 1100 and the hair length to 4.5. Then I will add volumetrix. So for that I will go to the world properties and under volume add a principled volume node and decrease the density to something like 0.01. You can also use the usual Q method of adding volumetrics but I think this one is a lot easier. And in the last I added some trees in the background from the max tree pack and our scene is done. And here is our final render. If you found this video helpful make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel and then I'll see you guys in the next video.